Hello, in this video we're going to look at the concept of homothetic utility functions. A homothetic utility function has a property that the marginal rate of substitution of the indifference curves are identical along any ray or straight line from the origin. Let's take an example of a Cobb-Douglas utility function. The marginal utility of good x is y the marginal utility of y is x. Forming the marginal rate of substitution, we see the marginal rate of substitution is y divided by x. Let's pick some consumption bundle, say x equals 8 and y equals 4. Plug those values in the marginal rate of substitution, and we see the MRS equals 1 half. Let's increase these initial values of x and y by 50%. So x equals 12, y equals 6 and we see the marginal rate of substitution for this Cobb-Douglas utility function is unchanged. That indicates that we're dealing with a homothetic utility function or homothetic preferences. If we were to double our initial consumption bundle, once again the marginal rate of substitution would be unchanged. So with homothetic preferences, a proportional increase in the consumption of x and y does not change the marginal rate of substitution. A simple test we can conduct is if the marginal rate of substitution is unchanged from doubling the values of x and y, the preferences or the utility function are going to be homothetic. Here's a graphical look at homothetic utility functions. Here's that Cobb-Douglas utility function that I, sh uh, that I illustrated uh, on the last slide where u equals xy. Uh, we have a couple of difference curves coming out of that utility function and valuing, evaluating those utility functions or uh, indifference curves, sorry, at y equals 4, x equals 8, and y equals 6, and x equals 12. And then drawing a straight line through the origin through those points, we see the marginal rate of substitution is 1 half. So again, take any ray from the origin and that ray where it touches the indifference curves, the marginal rate of substitution will be unchanged. So let's look at some hom homothetic utility functions. Here are the case of perfect substitutes. Perfect substitutes, the utility function is homothetic. Uh, in this example, the marginal rate of substitution is a marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y, or just 2. And it'll always be 2. We can double our consumption bundle and the MRS will still remain at 2. Here's just a Cobb-Douglas. So to sum up with a Cobb-Douglas, any Cobb-Douglas utility function, the uh, preferences will be homothetic. Perfect complement. So we got a perfect complement utility function here too. Uh, the preferences are homothetic. We can look at that uh, in the following graphically. We have these L-shaped indifference curves coming out of a perfect uh, complement utility function. So right here, from this ray from the origin, right here, uh, the change in y over the change in x over here, uh, the change in x is going to be zero along a, the vertical part of this indifference curve, so this is just going to be undefined. So change in y over change in x, where change in x is zero, that's going to be undefined. It's going to be undefined also um, at this kink, okay, that's non-differentiable. Okay, undefined. And then along the horizontal part of the indifference curve, the marginal rate of substitution would technically be zero. The change in y over the change in x, where the change in y is zero, uh, we're going to get just uh, a slope of zero here, so the marginal rate of substitution is zero. So that satisfies the properties of homothetic utility functions. And let's see, one more maybe. Uh, we have a constant elasticity of substitution, or, or at least a special case of that. And I talked about this utility function in another video uh, where I found the marginal rate of substitution was given by y squared divided by x squared. Once again, if we were to double an initial consumption bundle, the marginal rate of substitution would remain unchanged. And now finally for some utility functions that are non-homothetic. Here's a quasi-linear utility function. 
The marginal rate of substitution for this one is just going to be y. Notice the marginal utility of x is 1. The marginal utility of the natural log of y is 1 over y. So summarizing then, we get the marginal rate of substitution just equal to y. If we were to double the values of x and y, the marginal rate of substitution would change. It would increase. So doubling the values of x and y changes the marginal rate of substitution. And here's another quasi-linear utility function, marginal utility of x divided by the marginal utility of y. Here again, doubling the values of x and y changes the marginal rate of substitution. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.